Hey guys, it's Rob Seepuk with Paperless Student Studies. In this video, I will be going through the basics you need to know when taking digital notes. This video will cover the equipment you will need to go paperless, the applications you will need, and a few tips that will help you begin your paperless journey painlessly. So these are just tips to get you started with your digital note taking. Here's what you will need to start digital note taking. An iPad with a cover that has a slot for your Apple Pencil. An Apple Pencil. And a laptop. A laptop is just an additional device, but it's possible to take digital notes without actually needing a laptop. And I will talk more about this later. There are so many options for digital note taking that it can be a bit difficult to know exactly what device to go for. My suggestion is that you go for the iPad because it is the best device by far. Whether you get an iPad mini, the iPad Air 2019, the iPad 2018 or the recently released iPad 2019 or an iPad Pro, you will not go wrong with an iPad. The iPad will be your most important device for note taking and obviously it will require accessories and the main accessory you will need is your Apple Pencil because your iPad will essentially become your notebook for your whole course. This is the device you will be using to take study notes, class notes and lecture notes. Typing notes is not going to be enough for a fulfilling learning experience therefore i don't recommend going paperless with just a laptop but going completely paperless is certainly doable with an ipad another reason why you want to pick the ipad is because it comes with a lot of applications that will really help you get the most out of your device so which ipad is best for you this will depend obviously on your budget but here are some guidelines to help you the first thing i always recommend everyone getting an ipad is that get at least one 128 gigabytes of storage for whatever iPad you're going to pick. It doesn't matter, you are only going to be using your iPad to take notes and even if you're going to have iCloud storage as well that you're paying for, you need to get at least 128 gigabytes. Remember when you're buying your iPad that the storage for the iPad is not expandable. The iPad Pro is honestly an overkill when planning to use your iPad for study. It is too expensive unless you want the big screen to go completely paperless like I am. The big screen will give you enough space to split view when you're using your iPad for both note taking and also reading your textbooks. This is the only time that the iPad Pro shines when it comes to the size. So if you're going to be going for the iPad Pro series, I suggest that you go for the 12.9 inch. Um, if you're considering to get the 11 inch just save yourself that money and just get a normal ipad considering the fact that everything i can do on my ipad pro i can also do on all the other normal ipads still on the equipment you'll need to get started the best accessory for your ipad obviously is the apple pencil this might not be obvious for some so i thought i should just mention it uh you will definitely need an apple pencil so it's also important that you buy an ipad that is affordable because the apple pencil is not the cheapest accessory for your ipad it's at least a hundred dollars for the cheapest apple pencil you want to remember that while purchasing your ipad the last accessory that you will need is an iPad case. Make sure it has a slot to store your Apple Pencil. That way you don't need to carry around an Apple Pencil case as well. I try to always keep my things as minimalist as possible. So having a separate case for your Apple Pencil just means you have a lot more things to put into your bag. My iPad case was very cheap. It was less than $20 and it does the job. So you don't want to spend too much money on a case, trust me, because you are going to need some applications. So you just want something chip that will protect your screen and also a place to store your apple pencil unless your course specifically needs you to have a laptop i would say you might actually be all right without a laptop personally i do have a laptop because i had this laptop before i got my ipad and i've not bothered to upgrade my laptop because i don't actually do much on it and it's really old my laptop is really old and it's falling apart but i'm not going to replace it because i don't actually need it. 
Now let's talk about the kinds of applications you will need. You will need five different types of applications, a note-taking application, a PDF reader, Microsoft Office, a cloud service for backing up your notes, and a scanning application. I personally use Notability. It is my go-to note-taking application. It has features that I love and I have stuck with it. When you pick a note-taking application, stick to it. There is no such thing as a perfect note-taking application, but there are a lot of great options. So you have to pick one based on what matters to you the most. I chose Notability for two reasons. My handwriting looks great in this application, and I also love their audio recording feature. Are there things that I hate about Notability? Plenty. But those two features are so important to me that I can't use any other application because of them. So I really need those features and that's exactly how you should pick your note-taking application and once you find that application stick to it you will also need an ebook reader it could be kindle or another pdf reader of your choice if your university gives out pdf textbooks like mine does then you can use a pdf reader for my pdf reader i use margin note and i've also done a couple of videos showing how i use margin note when i'm studying it has all my rough study notes and my textbooks the next application you will need is Microsoft Office 365. This will be for doing your assignments and writing up papers for submission. It will also be for creating presentations. It's a monthly subscription, but if you're a student with a .edu email address from your university, you will get the subscription for free. Another thing to note is that Microsoft is free for devices that are less than 10.1 inches so if you want a free subscription from Microsoft, it is better to buy the smaller iPad. There are many cloud services to choose from. I recommend Google Drive, which gives you the biggest storage for free. 15 gigabytes for each email, and that's a lot for storing your notes and study material online. You want to back up your notes to the cloud so that you can easily access them no matter where you are. Now that you're paperless, now that you're taking digital notes, no more photocopying notes or handouts. Scan them into your iPad. In fact, if you really don't like the idea of carrying textbooks around, scan each topic too and leave the book in the library. My go-to scanning application is Scanner Pro by Riddle because it is cheap and it works. It's a great scanning application. I love it. I scan everything, my handouts, textbook sections. I scan everything into my iPad. I convert them to PDF and send them to my PDF reader. Here are some tips to get you started with your digital note taking. Number one, scan any paper notes you have before throwing them away. Tip number two is create a system to stay organized at all times. Digital notes can get as disorganized as paper ones. It is very important to be organized with your digital notes. The third tip I will give you, I've already mentioned this, but it's very important that I emphasize this. Once you find an application that works for you, be it a note-taking application, a PDF reader, stick to it. And the fourth tip I will give you is try to avoid eye strain. I do that basically by having these glasses that I bought. They have a yellow, a yellowish orange tint to them that filters out blue light from your iPad. So those are my tips and that's how you can start taking digital notes today and hopefully you will find this experience fulfilling and more effective and more rewarding than using physical notebooks. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you're already taking digital notes, what tips can you give people that are starting out? Let them know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.